Hi friends, welcome to the new course from the Skillpedia. A three new course launched by the Skillpedia Performance in Tuning Adaptive Server Enterprise 16 Query Optimization, which is ETP 634. Performance in Tuning Figuring Adaptive Server 15.7, ETP 553, and Troubleshooting Adaptive Server Very Advanced Course, ETP 557. These are the three courses launched by uh, the Skillpedia, all customized content, enhanced content, in addition to official content, we have added some content, so this is a, uh, of objective is to, to focus on the subject rather than specific exam, so this focus, this course is targeting the subject in detail, comprehend. This is session one, principles of performance and tuning, my name is Ram. Brought to you by the Skillpedia. What you will learn in this uh, session performance and tuning terms, the tuning methodology. So, what is performance? Performance measures the efficiency of a computerized business application. Multiple business applications running the same an individual task, a complete system dealing with many users and related tasks. This all measures the performance and efficiency of all this. What is tuning? Tuning improves performance and decreases contention and resource consumption. Tuning reduces response time and improves throughput. A major part of system tuning is reducing contention for system resources. As the number of users increases, contention for resources such as data and procedure cache, spin logs on system lo uh, resources and the CPU increases. The possibility the probability of logical lock contention also increases. Tuning improves the performance by reducing response time and improving throughput. So, when we have adaptive server, this is where the databases are running, client make connection through network and adaptive server handles the request so it is a client server architecture where client is one taking data and information requesting for data and information from the server and server is one which is fetching the data from the database and serving the client over a network so it is a client server model where the communication between client and server happens through network in other words tuning includes client network and server all the three components which you can see in this figure. So tuning levels. Performance in a client server environment. Performance in a client server environment is a dynamic ongoing process. It is never ending process. Involving operating system and hardware environment. Tuning database applications, tuning adaptive server, these are different levels of tuning like at presentation layer we need to tune our application, app application logic, client operating system and network, this is all at the client side. Then network communication. And then server side, network, operating system or input output subsystem, SAP, ASC itself and the database. And of course, where the client and adaptive server is running, the operating system and the hardware. These are all different levels of performance tuning. Procedural SQL. Procedural SQL provides a detailed description 
of how a task is to be accomplished. To write SQL, tell the database management system the result you want. The database server must create a query plan to achieve that result. Optimized SQL Query optimizer makes decisions based on the cost of alternative solutions. Cost is calculated in terms of time and involves several factors including I.O. cost, CPU time and parallel access. Means we need to optimize this because cost is calculated based on these factors. I.O. cost, CPU time, parallel access. Query optimizer. The optimizer examines queries and statistics about the tables, indexes and column names in the query. It predicts the cost of using alternative methods to access the required data. The plan that is the cheap, cheapest should also be short test in terms of time but we do not select on the basis of runtime unless the query is being run in parallel. The query optimizer uses statistics to generate cost calculations when resolving queries and it evaluates each query that attempts to determine the optimal query plan. It executes the query in the most efficient manner and uses minimum resources. The query optimizer is cost based. As I said in the previous slide, it uses statistics to generate cost estimates for each reasonable alternative and chooses the query plan that has the lowest cost. Query tuning. Query tuning involves making queries and transactions faster. That's the objective. This process also makes the logical and physical database design more efficient. It results in tuning data manipulation language that is DML commands. Query tuning works with optimizer and the related statistics. Other parts of the process are writing more efficient stored procedures, triggers and cursors. It utilizes and configures parallelism to speed up read activity and it assists and limits the optimizer in making the best decisions via optimization criteria. Basic performance and tuning considerations. The best access method, processing a join, the importance of a join order, these are all the considerations for performance in tuning. What access method we have, how to process a join, the importance of join order, parallelism, all considerations for performance in tuning and the size of IO data package. Trade-offs. Trade-offs consist of making changes designed to bring about the desired improvement because performance in tuning has a trade-off which means you have to balance. Situation as you try to tune one to more than what is expected you will create problem for the other. It's a balancing act as you can see from this figure. Like selects, updates, space and time. These are all balancing acts. Consistency and concurrency. All these are balancing acts. So you have to balance. You cannot you know, focus on one and ignore the other. Changes are often made with consequences associated with them. Because focusing on one may result into compromising on another. Tuning involves accepting trade-offs to improve the performance. So it, it, it requires that focus, it requires that uh, uh, acceptance of these trade-offs to get the better performance, to get the possi best possible performance I would say. Workloads. 
we have different online uh, workloads based on the application and uh, the use cases like OLTP online transaction processing DSS this is a decision support system so OLTP basically is what where we have uh, small batches or individual queries or ad hoc queries which are doing small uh, update small deletion or small inserts just like a banking system you go you focus on your query or your update or your insertion or your deletion so one query at a time decision support system where you use a data warehouse you uh, improve the uh, performance and you focus on that uh, you know uh, processing power of the database processing power of the system so you need to get information right information by processing huge data uh, to help you in taking right decisions which require more of select queries, more of uh, uh, processing the select queries. So it is select oriented. Batch processing, where you send multiple queries for batch processing. Mixed workloads is where we have a mix of all the three or maybe two, depending on what is the use case as I said. Let's go one by one. Online transaction processing. OLTP involves a very high throughput processing of data. OLTP transactions tend to affect a small number of records from the table as I said. Small number of records. It is characterized by many short, short transactions containing queries that have minimal resource uses. Since data is updated in the database directly, the OLTP server can handle hundreds or thousands of simultaneous users. The performance issues with OLTP are optimizing access methods, what access method is used to access the data, and minimizing the locking because thousands of parallel users are accessing the data at the same time. Decision support system, DSS. DSS queries typically access entire tables or large portions of tables involving joins between many tables and return summaries of large result sets. DSS applications are often run on a scheduled basis. For example, to produce the same report at close to close of every business day. The performance issues with decision support system are optimizing the SS access method and using the temp DB temporary database effectively and optimizing the joins and optimizing parallel queries. Batch processing. Batch processing is a series of automated actions or group of actions often scheduled to be run when the system is otherwise relatively inactive. It typically involves long transactions. Some systems use batch processing to do a large volume of reporting. This type of batch processing can be looked at uh, and configured as decision support system. The performance issues with batch processing are minimizing the physical I.O. and maximizing the throughput. Mix workload, the fourth option. Most environments are mixed. Mixed workload require trade-offs because, because we don't know what kind of query you expect. Maybe batch processing or maybe uh, DSS or maybe uh, OLTP. So you have to have the trade-offs and you have to balance the two. And you have to find out the plan which is convenient and the best in all the situations. Tuning can greatly enhance performance in mixed workload environments. Mixing DSS and OLTP, I mean DSS, OLTP and batch processing can involve trade-offs as I said. The problem is that DSS queries tend to hold logs for longer period of time and these logs can conflict with the OLTP inserts, update and deletes. That's the problem. Adaptive server were designed for mixed workloads. But tuning data caches, locking, 
careful indexing and using short well defined transactions can still help to reduce conflicts. The performance issue with mixed workloads are resource utilization effectively and minimizing contention between batch and online. Tuning methodology. Tuning methodology involves changing one thing at a time, testing its effectiveness and then keeping or discarding it as appropriate. This process starts with tuning a single option and analyzing whether changes change will have a positive effect on the system. If the change has a net negative impact, the changes must be returned to the original setting and another approach must be attempted. Multiple simultaneous changes can mask the effectiveness or cost of a given change. So the tuning methodology follows this flowchart, capture the baseline statistics, tune a single option, rerun the transaction profile and check whether does the change have positive effect. If yes, continue the tuning, repeat the process, take another option. If no, return to original setting and take another option. That's how the, what the tuning methodology is. Steady state. Problem is, let's say, problem is disk IO early in a run results in a longer run time. Solution is, warm the cache by running the application for a period of time. Because the disk IO, if you run in early results, it will take longer run time. So therefore, you need to allow the system to warm the cache by running the application for a sufficient amount of time. Steady state indicate the pages are cached from multiple applications run. And that's why, uh, that's when you should measure the performance, you should check the performance. Tuning diagnostics. Tuning diagnostics identify the problems. Identifies problems, identifies opportunities for improvement using toolbox. Identifies the impact of changes using the toolbox. What is this toolbox? Toolbox tools measure response time throughput and contention. There are uh, multiple options available as toolbox, uh, I mean multiple tools available in the toolbox. For example, show plan, plan cost and the plan viewer in GUI. Set statistics IO and set statistics time. Then query processing matrix. <coughs> this course will discuss all these with examples in detail. So if you really want to learn this, if you want to get the best out of uh, Sybase as a developer, then this is definitely this is for you. This course is for you. Monitoring and diagnostic that is MDA tables. All these are part of this uh, training. OPT Diag utilities. These are all uh, tools in the tuning toolbox for adaptive servers. So I leave the quiz to you. I'm sure if you have, uh, if you're watching the lecture carefully, I'm sure you should be able to answer this. Identify four workload load for performance in tuning: OTP, mixed, DSS, OLTP, and batch. That's it. Up to you. Thank you so much for watching. Join theskillpedia.com. My name is Ram, and my personal profile is available at www.rnsangwan.com. Thank you very much. Bye bye.